Welcome to All Plan Quick Start Unit 9. In the previous unit, we created the sections for the general arrangement drawing. We'll now use them as the basis for the reinforcement detailing of the basement. The first step is to open the Open on a Project Specific Basis dialog box. Deactivate all the drawing files of Unit 8 and close the structural levels. In the Derived from Building Structure area on the right, you can then open Unit 9 Reinforcement and the Structural Level First Basement, Associative Views, Sections below it. Right-click Drawing File 3180 First Basement Reinforcement Sections to open the shortcut menu and click Activate Reference Drawing Files. Now activate Drawing File 3185, First Basement, Floor Slab, Walls, and deactivate these two drawing files. Leave all the other drawing files as they are and switch back to the workspace. Change the display favourite to 7 Reinforcement Drawing. The existing dimension lines are automatically hidden and the existing reinforcement is displayed. It's that simple. But let's take a closer look now at how to create the reinforcement. Pin down the pallets and switch to the bar reinforcement module in the engineering family. One of the quickest ways to create reinforcement is to use the FF components. Let's do this. Click Wall Corners in the Catalog selection and choose the first wall corner. In the dialog box, set the parameters you want to use. OK. The wall corner is now displayed, attached to the crosshairs and expands automatically as soon as you move the crosshairs over the outline in Detail B. Did the wall corner expand correctly? Then left-click and automatically place the stirrets up to the bottom level of the slab with a placing depth to minus 350. Expand the same wall corner in Detail C and again automatically place the stirrups up to the bottom level of the slab. Next, I'd like to show you how to enter and place an individual bar shape in the foundation of the column. For this, activate the Drawing File 3190 column and click Close to return to the workspace. Start the Bar Shape tool and choose the Straight Bar with Hook from the Bending Shape selection. Like the FF components, the Bar Shape expands to fit the outline. Is the result correct? If it is, left-click and then right-click to open the shortcut menu. Here you can switch directly to the placement of the bar shape. In the input options, select Automatic Placement. Set the hook spacing to 125. Next, right-click to return to the bar shape and deselect Same Concrete Cover. You can now increase the concrete cover 1 to 50 mm in the interactive graphics. Then press Enter to confirm. Expand the bar in section 6-6 and open the shortcut menu to switch to the bar shape placement. Press Escape repeatedly to skip the prompts and quit the tool. Let's have a look at the result in the animation. So press F4. The column foundation looks fine. You can now move around the model and look through the transparent concrete to check the created reinforcement. There are no collisions in the wall corner either. Excellent. 
The reinforcement model is now finished, and I can show you how to label it. To do this, close the animation window. Then enable the label tool and click a bar shape to label it. The label is now linked to the bar shape and can be placed at the desired position. Quickly, add a label for the section 6, 6 and press Escape to quit the Label tool. Next, activate the Dimension Line, Label tool and again label both sections. Then press Escape to quit the tool. The next step is to create the layouts for the shell and reinforcement. Switch to the Layout Editor and open the Layout Unit 8 General Arrangement Drawing. Select the Layout window and copy it to the clipboard with Control c Then open the Layout Unit 9 Reinforcement Drawing and paste the layout window at the original position with Control alt v In the properties of the layout window, open the Layer dialog box, change the drawing type to Reinforcement Drawing and set the plot set to 7 Reinforcement. Now all the reinforcement detailing information appears. To finish off this unit, let's generate the Reinforcement Schedule – Bending Shapes report. All we need to do is open the Layout Content Reports tool and select the Reinforcement Schedule – Bending Shapes file. The report is generated and immediately displayed. See how simple it is to create complex reinforcement in all plan and generate the associated reports. This way you can easily keep track of project developments in all phases of the design process. Close the report up here. This brings us to the end of this unit, so we can close the layout editor now. In the next unit, I'll show you how you can export your layouts in all plan exchange to many different formats in a single work step.